The stillness of a hot afternoon was broken just before four by the song of one gunshot. That bullet took the life of popular cyclist and weekend warrior Ernest Dangalang Turton. He was found curled up against this coconut tree in the backyard of this house off Kumarbat Street behind the complex. It's his aunt's house, but since she resides in the U.S., he used to check on it daily. As police processed the scene, Turton's family arrived. The screams of his wife and daughter rang out. They were overcome by grief and disbelief because the athlete was known as a hard-working man. He had no gang affiliation and was no street figure. His sister Lorraine believes that the motive was robbery. I just came from a funeral and I got home, but I had the ambulance and I said, I hope there was nobody for me to get shot. And as I reached where I called, I said, that my brother just got shot back at my auntie's house at Junesville. And I came here and I saw that it was him. He normally comes behind this ear to check on he's the house? He's here every day. He's the one that minding the house when he's in the United States at this time. So every day, three times a day, four times a day, he's always here. Brother is a hard worker. Um, he was on the job, right? Yes, he was on the job. All he do, ride the race and work with Santino. That's all. He's not a troublemaker. No, he don't have no problem with nobody. You think he may have been robbed or targeted? I think maybe they think he have money or something, and they just target and kill her. That's all. Um, you could tell us a little bit about the family that has been left behind by him. I know he have a and a wife and kids there, and me about to get married. That's all I could say. At about 5 p.m., after scenes of crime personnel were finished. Police prepared to transport the body of Ernest Turton to the morgue. His family was inconsolable and his commonal wife fainted and had to be carried away. Ernest Turton's life was snuffed out in just an instant. Ernest Turton, better known as Dangalang, started working with me about 20 years ago at Santino's. Um, was a rider on Team Santino's and um, then transferred to San Cas when I did. And really, was not a troublemaker at all. No, I know that it, it's, um, it just happened, but can you tell us, can you confirm to us if he was on the job? Yeah, he was on the job. He was taking some checks. First of all, he handled no cash. He's a messenger, and um, he took some checks to the income tax department, and I understand he was caretaking his aunt's house, so he passed here to either before or afterwards, to in fact look at the house and he apparently was liquidated at that time no and um seems that he saw the guys was running away from them one of them left their slippers because i was back there at the crime scene and seems like it was one shot catcher right in the left side and he fell on the coconut tree dead no santino castillo summed up the tragedy before he left the scene sad way to lose a life for a good guy i mean I just rode a race with him on Sunday, and um, again, although I'm a member of the government, I will say that we really have to address crime in Belize. I mean, it's getting closer to all our homes. Turton's body was carried away in the police mobile. Inside the yard, his family grieved, and incredibly, on the street, onlookers cursed because the body was covered and they could not get a good look at it. Ernest Turton was 41 years old. He had five children. Mike Rodon for News 5.